What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back. You guys already know the deal. Playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield. Hopping on to that ranked double ladder for Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, in today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Life Orb Shadow Rider Catherick scene that also features Weakness Policy, Glacier, Glacier, whatever you want to call it. Well, the he's on the team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are amazing. I really do appreciate all the support that has been going out across the channel. Anybody who watches the videos, anyone who likes them up, and all the subscribers to the channel. Seriously, shout out to you guys. Shout out to you guys. But I have not used a Shadow Rider Calyx team for Series 11 yet, so I was just thinking, I was like, yo, let me bring it to the community. Let me bring a video and a rental code with a very strong team on it for you guys. So hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video and enjoy the team that we're using. But getting started with this squad, we're in the top left corner with that Shadow Rider Calyrex as one ability and the Life Orb as an item. So this thing can hit like an absolute truck. Everybody already really knows the power of Calyrex, so we're just going to be showcasing off yet again. Astro Barrage for our big heavy hitting stab move. Expanded Force is also another big heavy hitting stab move. And then we got Mud Shot for coverage, and it turns into Max Quake when we Dynamax this thing. So basically a special defense boost when Dynamax, and then Protect for our final mod. This Pokemon's going to pair well with the Pokemon right next to him, which is Indeedee. Indeedee can set that Psychic Surge, so Expanding Force can do massive amount of damage. Lumberry also for this thing's item, and then it has Mystical Fire, Follow Me, Protect, and Helping Hand for support and more damage for allied Pokemon. Middle left is going to be Rotom Heat, and I love playing with Rotom Heat. I don't know why, I just think he's really, really good in the Dynamax format, especially if you can get a Nancy Pot set up like we have in the move set here. We have the Levitate ability, we have the Safety Goggle size items, and then the move set of Thunderbolt for stab, Nancy Pot set up, protect, and then overheat for our big stab damage move. Right next to him is Wimscott. Wimscott's there solely for support over here. He's just here to help out the team, speeding them up, and give them a little bit of helping hand. He has Prankster ability, Focus Dash as the item, and then Moonblast, Tailwind, Helping Hand, and Taunt for his moveset. Bottom left corner is a nice little Pokemon on this team. That can be an absolute truck or a bear to deal with when this thing has weakness policy proc. And that is going to be this glass here over here. It has Chilling Nay, weakness policy as an item, so if somebody can proc that weakness policy, this thing is a absolute beast. I feel like we saw him in... What series was it? It was the one before Restricted Mods. Was that Series 8? No, Series 10 was with... No, Series 9 was with uh, all them. Well, Series 8, I believe, when Glacier kind of like first came into the game, everybody was using them with Weakness Policy, and this thing was just taken over. But this thing has a fairly normal moveset for Glacier, but I'll go over it because nobody's been using this Pokemon in a while. It has Icicle Spear, Heavy Slam, Body Press, and High Horsepower. Final Pokemon on the squad is going to be Intimidate Landers over here with that Assault Vest so we can soak up some special attacking shots. We got Rock Slide, EQ, U-Turn, and Fly for this amazing moveset on that Pokemon. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Run the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with the Shadow Rider Calyrex team and Weakness Policy Glacier. Going up against a pretty cool Zacian team here in battle number one. This guy also has the Ditto, the Regigigas, Galarian Weezing, Porygon 2 for Trick Room, and the Whimsicott for Tailwind. Okay, how should we go into this one? How should we play it? Looking for a big win here. I would love to get this video started off with a W. Um, I'm thinking of going in with the Indeedee and Calyrex combo. Wow, I'm just, I'm just feeling it. For some reason, Jeans is feeling it. Do I do, I do it? I definitely want Intimidate Landers on the squad, definitely, because he has Zacian, and that's a big threat. That's definitely a big threat. Oh, uh, what time he could come in here as well? I said we go in with one, two. Uh, do I want do I want this Whimsy? Do I want the Whimsy? I mean, if he brings Whimsicott, that's a little tough for us because he could just take that uh, Tailwind control. So do I actually just bring in Whimsicott? So we just go Whimsicott into uh, Calyrex and then Lando and Rotom. We could bring Glacier. Glacier ain't bad. But then the Steel super effective and we just don't really feel like doing that. I'm kind of with this Rotom. I'm kind of with the Rotom all day. Let's rock out with it. Let's lock it in and try to get ourselves a win here in battle number one. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below for question of the day. When Generation 9 comes out or what would you guys like to see when Generation 9 is released for Pokemon, the next series of Pokemon? Let me know what features you guys would like to see in the comment section down below. Because what we know from a fan standpoint is that there's two development teams in Pokemon. There was one working on Diamond and Pearl and there's one working on Legend Arcus. But now... Diamond and Pearl is done. The remakes are done, which means there's a team working on uh, Legends of Arceus, which also means that this team has to be working on another game, the Diamond and Pearl team, which makes us all think that they're working on Gen 9, which I wouldn't be surprised if we see that game in the next year, year and a half. It would be pretty cool. So hopefully that's what they're working on. Hopefully we'll get that game soon, or at least like a, a little teaser trailer soon to let us know that they're working on it. That'd be totally cool. That'd be awesome. But let me know your guys' answers in the comment section down below for that question. This guy leads to Regigigas alongside with the Weezing, and I just think we Dynamax here. 
We go into a quake, which ain't bad. Get that special defense boost, and maybe just set up a lovely little tailwind. Lovely little tailwind sounds good. Or we could uh, set the terrain here. Could work wonders on us. Yeah, let's set the terrain here, and did we tailwind? I don't even think we tailwind here. Are we just helping hand. Let's go into a helping hand here. Make sure that this Galarian Weezing goes down here. Let's see us do this play. So we're Dynamaxing Caldex right off the rip. Trying to get ourselves a big win here. Trying to get ourselves a big win. Just get the video started. But you know what I really like that they did in this game? Or at least in the uh, Crown Tundra DLC? They make Glaciary and some of the legendaries difficult to catch. Which I always liked as a kid. Like I remember as a kid uh, trying to capture like Uxi, Azelf, and uh, Mesprint. And it was just a pain to catch and it always took me so long. So it was very cool to see that they uh they up though or made the catch rates a lot harder dude because that's really what made the games a lot better when i was younger was having a tough time catching those legendaries and then finally catching those legendaries going over telling all my friends like yo dude i caught the legendaries it was just really cool it was just really cool to see that they did that but he does end up dynamax and wheezing here which is really different we really don't ever see that helping hand is gonna fly here we are gonna get a little bit of helping hand here and then he oh he's gonna card turn one ooh He's gonna guard turn one and block our mind swing. Okay, that's weird. You never see a max guard coming out here. Iron Head is gonna fly here, which we are gonna be able to soak up. And this thing shows that it is life. Alright, okay, so in this case, I think we just do the same thing here. I think we just do the same thing. Right? I think we do the same thing. There's no reason not to, right? He's gonna do a swap his time max where he's gonna take a heavy hit from Glary and Weezing. Do we think that he made a mistake by doing this? We think he made a mistake. Nah, I don't think so. He doesn't swap or anything. We are gonna finally get off our max mines from here. How much damage are we really gonna do on this thing? Oh my lord, yo, Calyrex! Calyrex! Dump it on a Dynamax Weezing in one shot, yo. Helping hand, really, really strong, really, really strong. But now Regigigas is gonna go here, and I think she's gonna drop another Iron Man. Wouldn't be surprised. Might actually go into my Wimpy Gun. We shall see. We shall see. But now we just set up a town when we kind of just get rolling here. Our sli or his slow start is uh, starts rolling here, and our Grim Nate does get our boost. So we got our boost finally. After everything, our boost does come out here, and his Regigigas is going to go for a nice punch here, which we might be able to eat up. We do all day. It's not stab. It's not stab. It is not stab damage. So that's huge. Let's just set up a talent. Let's get rolling here. I feel like we should be able to pick up yet another KO with uh, Calyrex here now that we're plus one. We should be able to just kind of like steamroll this battle. He's going to go on the Whimscot, so Regigigas is really our threat. Uh, what do we go into? Mindstorm, Phantasm, or do I want this, uh, this boost right here? Or do I want the special defense boost? I feel like we still KO this Regigigas here, right? Hmm. Might not. I'm willing to take that risk. I'm willing to take that risk. Let's set up our Tailwind here. He might go Tailwind. Let's see the play here. Let's see the play. Let's see the play. But yo, that was a huge first turn KO there onto that Weezing, or second turn, whatever you want to call it. Is he max guard? Who max guards on the first turn? It's kind of weird. Wait comes out here. It does pick up the KO. That is huge. That is huge. We get the special defense boost. We're thriving. Dude. We're thriving. That's GG, yo. Calyrex is just going to run this battle because once I get out of here, I'll have speed alongside with the terrain I want. So then I can just drop expanded forces, pretty much just wrap it up. Dude, Calyrex is a beast. Shadow Rider Calyrex is an absolute beast. I don't know which one's better, though. I really do not know which one's better. This guy sends out boom. Yo, what's this guy doing? It's Master Tier. Oh, and I feel sorry for him. I apologize. I apologize. Yo, I got a free focus dash. I should be dead. I should be dead, but either way, we're winning this battle. So, it's not like that was detrimental to us. So, now he goes into there. He could actually tailwind up. He could actually tailwind up. And that could be tough for us if he does tailwind up. We protect Calyrex. What's our play here? Because who else do I have in the back end? I have the Rotom, and I have Land. Hmm. We just go for a mud shot. I said we just go for a mud shot here. I'm going to taunt him just in case he wants to try to go for a Tailwind. Just so that I can actually keep my, uh, what's called, oh my god, he's protected by second turn. What am I doing? What am I doing? What, what is Jeans doing here? Go after Wimscott, please. All right, luckily we outspeed, and there goes my Munchot. That's your KO. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> what, yo, what am I doing? I was just saying, yo, what's this guy doing? It's faster. I go for a taunt in the Psychic Terrain. Come on, Jeans, you're better than that. You're better than that. You are better than that. It's not, it's not that you cannot go for a taunt in the psychic train. You cannot go for first turn priority moves up against the opponent in the psychic train. Though I'm used to thinking it's just like turns that just hit people, but it's so fun. We, we're thriving. We're just going to go for an expanded force here. 
pretty much wrap this one up. And I'm going to helping hand. Actually, no, we're not helping hand. So this thing could be Sash. And I want the sweep. And I want the sweep. Battle is canceled. There's sweep for battle number one. Let's hop into our second. Let's go back to back. Light work, baby. Light work. First battle went perfectly just how we wanted. We did make a little mistake. Uh, I'll take that one in the chin. That one's on me using the taunt and the psychic train. But yo, we forget about it. It's in the past for a reason. We're in our second battle here. Looking to go back to back here. Going up against a Groudon Drought team that features the Venusaur, obviously, and the Charizard. Can I have a Groudon team without both those Pokemon? Then he has Ditto, Cantonia Zapdos, and Intimidate Landers. Okay, how should I play this one? How should I go into it? I definitely want to leave Boom Scott. I feel like getting the Tailwind off could be really good. Hmm. Getting Tailwind off can definitely work wonders here. He does have a few physical attackers. I kind of want to bring Landorus, but do I bring Calyrex instead? Because Calyrex should be... And I could just lead the Calyrex, because a Tailwind, Calyrex is, will outspeed a Venus. Okay, so I'm thinking of going in with them too, yet again. Bring in Landorus and then final Pokemon. I think Rotom Heat can just be... I think Rotom Heat is just great all around. Is this the same squad that we brought last time? I think it is. I think it is, right? But we just, we swept. We swept last time, but it's all good. It's all good. Let's see if we can get ourselves a win here. Next battle, we'll definitely show off the other Pokemon. Indeedee's kind of... We might not even show off Indeedee. Indeedee's just there to pair up with the Calyrex or take Terrain Control. But usually when you bring in her, you're definitely bringing in the Calyrex and like pairing them up together because Expanding Force just works so well. It really does. But I really do like having the Wimscott and Calyrex combo. Especially up against these guys. I probably should have went Rotom Heat instead. Or some Heat could work wonders here. Pairing that thing up with Wimscott, taking speed. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. This thing could just thrive. It has the max lightning for the Charizard, the heat for the Venusaur. And then heat could also hit really hard on Groudon because he's not a fire typing. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Which I still don't know why. Why is that thing ground and fire? And why isn't Kyogre water and ice? Like, get out of my face. What the heck is that about? Ends up going in with Lando alongside with Zapdos. And, yo, like I said, I'm cool with this. Timmy is not going to affect any of these guys because we are indeed special attacking. We are special attacking, so hmm. let's play. Do we just set up the terrain for ourselves? We set up the terrain for ourselves, and then remember that we cannot taunt in the terrain. <laughs> like, Dominate's gonna fly. That's fine by me. Uh, Tailwind's an absolute must, right? Tailwind's an absolute must to take speed. Unless, do we think we already have speed? Do we think we already have speed? But I think Calyrex is already super fast, but. Just having this in the back end can be really nice for us. Because he's, he's probably going to go for an airstream. I might just go for a... Uh, might just go for a helping hand. And then Dynamax and go into a Phantasm. Or do I go into that? What's up, player? Let's just set this terrain. Actually, let's try to do as much damage. This thing has... To, uh, 10 more base damage, so I'd rather go into that and get after Zapdos. That's going to be our play. We already outspeed these Pokemon, so I'm not going to waste my first turn on a Tailwind. I'm actually just going to get straight after it, drop a Helping Hand, look to get some big damage done, and then next turn, potentially Tailwind, and just go from there, depending on how this turn plays out. So, let's rock again. Let's rock this Calyrex Dynamax in. It's just too strong not to do it, you know? It's just too strong not to bring it in and go straight into it. Just a powerful combo. Just really strong once you get this Pokemon rolling with the helping hand man it just works wonders he's gonna dynamax this pokemon it's gotta be the bird right it's gotta be the bird and i think he's gonna go into a max airstream into my whimsicott and then he might rock slide he might rock slide an eq or eq i could see an eq into an airstream so that us setting up the tail might not be the play Might have not been the play let's see how this one plays out let's just see here goes our helping hand wonderful juicy get it rolling calyrex should go next 222 speed this thing is cooking Looking, Phantasm's gonna fly out here. Get off some huge damage. Oh my, yo, GG's. GG's, dude. This Pokemon is ridiculously broken. Oh my lord. I did not think it was gonna kill that thing. Yo, helping hand into whatever move you wanna use with this thing is just ripping. And now we got the Grimnade boost and we are flying. I'm gonna set up the Tailwind next turn. Oh my lord. And he flies and dips out. Yo, get him out of here, yo. Get him out of here. Again, do we even need to set up a Tailwind this turn? Let's see who he brings out. <laughs> Dude, he's going to cancel battle. I have a feeling he's going to be like, nah, son, I'm out of here. I ain't dealing with this Calyrex. He's going to go into Ditto, and I think Ditto is going to transform into my uh, into my Calyrex. So we're just going to take that thing out. We're just going to take that thing out. We're going to Tailwind up here. He has the same stats as us. If we Tailwind, we'll be thriving here. We'll definitely outspeed it. 
and we'll be able to finish that thing off. So let's go here, and then just go into a phantasm. What do I set terrain? Now I can set terrain next turn, and it's not very effective anyway. So let's just go into that one. Say bye bye to Ditto, unless he protects. He doesn't protect. GGs, dude. It's, it's GGs. Like it, this, this match is over. This match is over. Later, Calyrex. Yo, later. We're gonna go back to back sweeps, dude. It's looking like we're going back to back sweeps here. I will swap my Wimscott just so we don't get swept. Or it's just so we can keep our sweep going. Loving it. I'm loving it. He's gonna go into a fly. Go into Calyrex, actually. I would love for him to go into Calyrex here. We're just thriving. We're just thriving. He does go into Calyrex. So we go, we go keep our Wimscott out here. Wimscott's thriving, man. Still has his Focus Sash as well. Now we go into whatever move we want. Pretty much pick up KO over plus two. And do I go after the Groudon? I feel like the Groudon's really posing the threat here. Let's say we just go after the Groudon. Uh, do we Moonblast? There's no need for helping man. There's really no need for that. We could just go into our minds from now, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do here. Don't guard. Don't protect. Don't you do it. I mean, if you do it, I don't see you picking up a KO on any of my Pokemon. And then in that point, we just set off the expanding forces because the terrain will still be out. Because he can't max guard. So either way, my move is going to hit. And it's going to set up the terrain. But yo, dude, when I dumped on that Zadis, I was just like, bro. I felt so bad. I was like, dude, I, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that because I would have been so upset if I was him. Like, who helping hands into a Calyrex and then takes out a Zapdos in one turn? It just doesn't happen. He ends up protecting the ground. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. You, you're trying to not let me get the sweep, man. Try not let me get the sweep. In this case, we're just gonna do this. Chipping away, yo, dude. That's still, that's still a ridiculous amount of damage. So protect. Rain is out and about. We have speed. As long as he doesn't kill any of my Pokemon, our sweep should be perfectly fine here. Which I don't see him killing any of my guys. I don't see him doing any of it. Moonblast flies through here. Built. Yo, Wimscott getting some nice damage. This thing's gonna fly. I think I'm really gonna fly. This thing's really gonna fly. Okay. He can't kill my Wimscott. Do we think he's gonna be able to have enough damage to kill my uh kill my Calyrex? Do we think that, that he that he is gonna have that? Phantom Force is definitely the stronger move here because we have the frame, so I'm just gonna drop it. We'll see how this one plays out. Come on, yo, we need double sweep. Expanded Force comes out here. Dodge by Lando. Crowd on. Get on out of my game. Get on out of my game. We know you ain't surviving that. Even if you have full health, you're not surviving that. That's plus two. Now we're plus three, dude. Now we're plus three. Oh my lord, yo. All you need, yo, do not take out my Calyrex here. Do not take out my Calyrex. Go for my Wimscott. He flies. He misses anyway. That, that's embarrassing. You deserve to get swept. <laughs> you deserve to get swept. But yo, all you need is Calyrex and Wimscott. That's all you need. This is just the most powerful combo I have used so far. This is ridiculously strong. It really is. We're just ripping here. Moonblast. Expanding Force. Definitely coming out here. Go ahead, cancel the battle. Back to back sweeps? I think so. I think so. This is the real test for this team. We're hopping into our third and final battle here, going up against a G Max Lapras and Zashin team. I think these teams are very tough to play up against, and they're just strong all around. He also has the Raichu, the Ferrothorn, the Landers for Intimidate, and Rotom Heat. But yo, we're coming off back to back sweeps. How often do we do that? Not often. I think we maybe, maybe never did it, or maybe once on this channel. Had back-to-back -back sweeps, but yo, dude, that Wimscott and Calyx combo is phenomenal. Granted, I really do want to go into it yet again, but it is not the play here. It is not the play. I definitely want to probably tail him with Wimscott. Hmm. Let's have Fake Out. He does have Fake Out with a few of these Pokemon. They have the Focus Ash, which is lovely, but uh, we have Protect on this guy. We might not. I don't think we do. We do not. We could go in with Raichu and Lapras, and that, that's definitely scary. That's definitely scary. I kind of want to go in with the Proton Heat here. I don't like him. What do I really want to? How do I really want to play this one? Let's go in DD. In DD and Calyrex. Let's go in DD Calyrex. Let's try to show off like a different side of this team. Let's go Glacier. As much as I want to bring Landorus, I just feel like the first two battles were just absolute domination. And I'd rather show off the Pokemon that we haven't used yet. That we really haven't used yet. You know we have to bring in that Calyrex. So we're going to bring in in DD alongside with the Calyrex combo. And say Wimscott, you can sit in the back. If we're not going to off the tail one, it's not a big deal to me. I don't mind if we lose. It's really not a big deal. But if I was actually, like, playing, I would probably still maybe go into the Calyrex and the Nidity combo. It's still decently good here. But I would definitely bring Landorus, probably over maybe Rotom or Glacier. Probably over Glacier in this situation. 
I guess Lander some no time. Okay. This is not what I was expecting him to go into. But we're gonna rock out with these two. Intimidate will not affect us. Um could <laughs> you know, dude, I could Dynamax and helping hand. Don't I have a helping hand on this thing? I'm pretty sure I do. But Intimidation gonna fly through here. I am just gonna expand it for it. We have speed here all day. We might Dynamax. Good Dynamax. I think I just expanded force here. Get a special attack drop. I could help him and expand it force. That's not a bad move here. I think I think that's the play. I honestly think that's the play. Through this terrain. It's stab. We have life orb. We have helping hand. He's gonna end up Dynamax. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'll save my Dynamax for another Pokemon. I will save my Dynamax for another Pokemon. We thrive with this one. We're getting after it. We Dynamax is a Lando. Lando is going to be his Dynamax Pokemon of choice, dude. How mad if I had talent if, if I had brought my if I brought my Whimsicott here. If I, if I brought Whimsicott and Calyrex again, it could have been lovely. Probably going for an airstream if I had if I had the guess, he's probably going for an airstream. Trying to get speed rolling on the side, and he might take out my uh, Calyrex from here. Gonna end up protecting the Rotom. That's fine. That is fine. Let's see how much damage we can do all into this Landers here. Let's see how much damage. If we KO this thing, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. Did not KO. But did a good chunk for Dynamax Pokemon. Half the health. Max Quick's gonna fly through here. And is that. That's gotta be up against Calyrex, right? Yeah. I'm um, the big threat. And we're dead. But we go down there. That's all good. It's all good. So he's gonna get that special defense boost. We should bring in a physical attack with Light Glacier. Oh, we have Glacier? I think we do. We know an Ice Boost can do one or two. And he has Rotom Heat out here. Which we could probably soak up. We could probably soak up a shot here. We go for a follow me, though. We go for the follow me. Follow me could be nice. Or do I let him proc my policy? I said we don't let him proc my policy. I said we just go, go into a follow me here. And we just Dynamax and go into this. Get rid of Slanders. That's my play. That is my play. Let's see what he does here. Let's see what he does. Because if I don't go into follow me, he can potentially go into a Quake and a uh, and an Overheat or whatever fire he's rocking. I would think Overheat, right? And just take out my Glacier. And that would pretty much wrap up the battle. That would pretty much wrap up the battle. But let's see how this one plays out here. We're going to end up Dynamaxing the Glacier. Get him out and about and get rolling. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we can get rolling. Here. Let's see what genes can get cooking up here. Calyrex did go down. Dude, if he didn't protect that Rotom, that would have been a even better turn. So that had the potential to take out that Rotom or do a great amount of damage, bringing it to low yellow or even red. But follow me to going to pop. We'd love to see it. Go say, hey, everybody, bring your shots over here. You ain't touching this shit. He's going to end up going for a flutter by. Oh, yo, he read that. Did he read that? Did you read that? It's a great turn. Even though we eat up, we are in the red now. And go for an overheat. Go for an overheat. That'll be lovely. Go for an overheat. Our special attack does drop. Good thing Glacier is physical. And Landorus is going to drop here. Go for an overheat. He plots, man. That's a great plot. That is a great nasty plot. I'm not even gonna lie. That's a great nasty plot. We're gonna end up dropping a hailstorm. Let's we'll say bye bye to Lando here and bye bye to his Dynamax. And the nasty plot is set up. That's tough. That is tough. Nancy Plot is set up. And I'm trying to think of how do we play this one. That's super tough. That's super tough because we have to get rid of him. So he's probably going to bring in Zacian here, right? I, th I think Zacian comes in here, right? I had to guess Zacian does come in here. Which would outspeed everybody. It would outspeed everybody, which means if I go for a follow me, he's just going to take out Ndidi. And then the fire move is going to come across into my glacier. And I'm hoping that glacier can actually eat. Because if glacier... Oh, no. It gets further. Okay. So, this is his play. We know who's slowest. We know who's slowest. Is. But follow me would be uh, would be our best bet here. You want to follow me? And then we could just quake. We could knuckle. Knuckle could be solid for us, which I am going to do. You know, Rotom. Mm -hmm. What do we do? What is the play? I don't know who we go into. Good hailstorm. But Knuckle could be the play. Or do we, we can't quake because he has like Feel Spike ain't really gonna do much. We're gonna, we're gonna Knuckle here. We're gonna Knuckle here and look for the KO. Let's see what he does. He protects the Rotom. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
Don't protect Ferrothorn. He does protect Ferrothorn. You son of a biscuit. So we do get an attack boost anyway. Do like it. The Rich Comfort follow me. He wants the Buffets to actually take us out. So that 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 does work out in his favor. The Buffets are going to take him out. Um, is that the end of our Dynamax, or do we have one more turn? No, we have one more turn. We have one more turn in Dynamax, which is lovely. We get a nice little attack boost here. Get a nice, lovely little attack boost. And I wonder where Speed's sitting here. I really do wonder where Speed's sitting. We know Rotom is faster than our Glacier, but is Landorus faster than him? That is the real question. That is the real question. This thing's rocking leftovers. This is solid. Battle. Let's say solid. Battle. Solid, solid battle. I know we we have Rotom. Why do I think we have Landorus? Why do I think we have Landorus? I don't know why. Hopefully our Rotom outspeeds him. It's gonna be close. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. <laughs> I'm seriously hoping. Because in this case, I just go for an overheat, right? Take out the Ferrothorn, right? Overheat in the Ferrothorn, and then uh. I guess Knuckle. Would Knuckle be your best bet into Rotom? Hellstorm won't do anything. That won't do anything. Yeah, Knuckle's our best bet in that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's see how this one plays out. Because I'm hoping he procs policy on my uh, Glacier and we're able to eat up. I know he's plus two in Energy Fun, which is definitely scary. But Glacier is pretty tanky, so maybe, just maybe, we can eat up whatever he has to offer here. And that could be super beneficial. If we can KO the Ferrothorn, him proc on my policy, and then us max Knuckle in to finish that thing off. Let's see. I'm really curious to who's Rotom outspeeds. Mine does. That's, that's good news. That's good news. So he should definitely go down to this. Yeah, all day. Four times super effective. Get him out my face. And we get a crit. And we get a crit. But now we're minus two. Now we are minus two. Let's, we'll see how this one plays out. We do have Nancy Plot. He is just going to go for an overheat onto my Rotom. What do you think we're rocking an ally switch? I'm cool with that. Max Knuckle is going to fly. I think he's waiting for my, maybe my Dynamax kind of just like fall out. You know? We're going with this. We are going to knuckle up. And that's some nice damage. That's some nice damage. We get attack boost on top of this. Oh, man. This one's going to be good. Coming down to the wire. Coming down to the wire. We don't have protect. We do not have protect, which is very scary. Who's this final mod? Yep, there it is. There's this AC. There's Asian's AC, and whatever you guys want to call it. Hmm. Mm-mm-mm. Okay. Uh, maybe he thinks we're going to protect. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. <laughs> I hate this game, man. Maybe he thinks we're going to protect. We definitely have to, like... I think we have to get rid of... I think we got to like, double down on this guy. I think we have to double down on this guy. Let's do it. We don't have protect. He goes for Behemoth Blade. Go after Rotom! No, dude. That's going after... That's going after... That's or... Place here. That's G's. That's G's, man. We dead. No, man! What you mean? Oh, dang. That's why I wish we had protect here. That would have been able to protect. Get off the T-Bolt here. Oh, yeah. We would have been able to get off the T-Bolt. And watch. We would have got the Paralyzed. Ready? Here it is. Nope, no Paralyzed. And the Thunderbolt's going to fly from this slot. Uh, we might be able to eat that up. Yeah. We eat that up, and it, it's pretty much over. It is pretty much over. That is whack. That is whack. Get out my face. Get out my face. He used his Dynamax, right? I'm honestly, like, forgetting what Pokemon we killed. Let's see. Yeah, he used his Dynamax on the other uh, Lando. Onto the Lando, and then we dumped on him with Glacier. But, yo, that's going to be GG's. That's going to be GG's. We definitely could have brought in a uh, different squad here. I probably should have just overheated into this thing, but it wouldn't have killed it. It would not have killed it. Well, there comes the Sacred Sword. That's going to hit me up. That's going to wrap it up. But, hey, yo, not a bad set of battles. Two sweeps and one loss. Granted, we didn't play the team that we really want to because we want to show off something else. This team has the best combo in Series 11. That Whimsicott and Calyrex combo is like chocolate and peanut butter. It is just... Wow, it's just perfect. It is just lovely. It is just amazing. And we showcase it to its fullest potential in this video. Got two sweeps with that? Come on, not one, but two sweeps just going into Tailwind, helping hands, and dumping on Dynamax Pokemon left and right. We ended up losing that third battle, which is all good. We tried showing off some other Pokemon on the team that we didn't showcase in battle number one and battle number two. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.